Hey, what's up, y'all? Gary with Thick Skinned RC, back to talk about the Eddy XL. Uh, like I mentioned in the unboxing, um, I picked it up just after Christmas, uh, right around the 1st of January, end of December. So I've had it for just about two months now, and I've put, I don't know, probably four sets of batteries through it now. Uh, I've had it at a little BMX track. Um, I had it out at the lake. I had it uh, rock crawling and um, took it bashing, just kind of at a construction site. And where else? Uh, oh, I just took it out on the trails with the kids. So when I, we went for a little hike. Um, and uh, so far, it's been doing exactly what I wanted. Uh, I wanted it to be kind of a go everywhere basher rig. Um, I don't plan on you know, sending it and getting it up 30 feet in the air. Um, I've got. Uh, got the armas for that <laughs> but um it, it's serving its purpose so i've had a couple of issues with it the pinion actually came loose on the second set of batteries i uh, made it through the first pack okay the second pack um about five minutes in the uh, it stopped moving it was making just that motor spinning nothing happening sound Popped it open and the pinion was just sliding um, on the motor shaft. So from the factory, uh, I guess they either didn't use enough Loctite or just didn't torque it down enough. But uh, that came loose, chewed up the spur, chewed up the pinion. So I replaced both of those. Um, I had a 64 tooth Robinson Racing spur and slipper combo from the Yeti 380 sitting around. Um, so luckily I was able to just slap that in. And I went with an 18 tooth Robinson Racing uh, hardened pinion um, to get the spur gear working. I did have to clearance the back of this plate a little, or this this plate here on on the back of the spur a little bit, and add a washer onto the front to get you know, a little bit more tension on it so it wouldn't slip. But uh, after doing that, it's it held up just fine to the last two uh, two sets of packs I put through it, and I beat on it pretty good. Um, Took it out with Vinny's X Max, and uh, we had some fun out at the lake with that, and definitely beat on it a bit. And that uh, slipper, just fine. Haven't had any problems with the electronics. Um, I mean, it's Castle stuff, so and it's a big motor for what's a big but relatively light rig. I mean, the the Eddy XL is not much smaller than the X Max. Um, it's a little bit narrower. Definitely got smaller wheels, but. All in all, when you put it next to the X Max, it, it it doesn't look tiny. That's for sure. So, um, can't really go wrong with Castle Electronics. It, it it's been doing what it, it's been doing what it should. So, um, the Tactic Servo, even while I hate Tactic Servos, it uh, it hasn't failed on me yet. It's definitely slow. It's definitely weak, and it'll definitely be getting replaced. But for now, it, it's been doing all right. So, the uh, the body hasn't held up quite as good as I would have liked. It's got um, broke there and same spot on this side. But aside from that, it doesn't have much more damage. Uh, these here from sliding backwards, probably on gravel at the construction site, so you know, not too bad about that. Um, these little flappy dealies, while they look cool, they end up just basically moving all over the place and looking dumb because then you're driving around with this little flappy dealie flapping in the wind so I don't know I might pull those off here uh, we'll see uh, I'm not too concerned about it right now but uh, tires were performing I haven't taken this through much water or mud but uh, for relatively loose surfaces they they did pretty good um, they handled the moderate air that I put it through just fine handled the little uh, whoop de whoops at the BMX track just fine so um, I'm, I'm digging it so far the Suspension definitely needs a little bit of work for the type of terrain that I drive it in. I'm not doing any trophy truck, you know, with huge long jumps. Um, so when you jump this 
the front is so well dampened and the rear is so springy that you go up the jump and it just pretty much immediately nosedives. So you're having to constantly use throttle um, to try and keep it up. And depending on how fast you're going, um, that's not always enough. So um, suspension's definitely going to get some work. I, I don't know if just different springs or heavier fluid in the back, one of the two, I'll figure that out and see, but that's absolutely going to get some work done. Um, the castle system with all the power that it has, this thing does tend to just three wheel like constantly when you get on the throttle. So uh, not my favorite thing to do with a basher, you know, practice throttle control, but um, you got to do what you got to do. So to help with that, I went ahead and ordered the uh, HR uh, rear sway bar. So I'm hoping that should help keep it from torque twisting quite as much in three wheeling. But uh, I doubt it'll eliminate it, but hopefully it should help and keep it a bit more controllable so I can still mash the throttle uh, when I have traction and not worry about it, you know, just back flipping. So, um, so great bargain, uh, especially now that Castle, or now that uh, Tower and I think a couple other places had it listed for 570 um, as of sometime in January. Last time I was looking, at end of January, beginning of February, they dropped the price to like 550 or 570. So, um, Definitely a good bang for the buck. Uh, you know, comes in a little bit cheaper than the new um, style trucks that Losi and Traxxas have coming out like this. Hopefully, they've fixed some of the design flaws. Theirs might be a, a bit tougher. Uh, only time will tell. So, um, drivetrain. I did have the front diff get crunchy on me. So, I don't know if it was from the crawling. Um, or at the construction site, you know, it's pretty doing some kind of hill climbs, stuff like that. I don't know what did it in, but the front diff is now crunchy. Um, yeah, it's obviously noisy, anyways. Can't really tell here, but but yeah, when you when you get on the brake or hammer it hard, you can hear that front diff crunching. So that is one thing I'm going to have to fix. Um, check out some of Bar Harbor videos, Bar Harbor Bashers videos, and uh, he's got you know shimming and trimming a whole bunch of stuff on that uh, on that front diff. So. I'm going to follow some of the stuff he's got on there and hopefully get this to a moderately bulletproof um, front diff. Uh, I really don't want to have to keep opening up. It's not the easiest uh, not the easiest front diff to get into. It's not really much harder than the Eddie 380, but kind of a pain either way you cut it. So, um, Anyways, uh, I'm really digging the Yeti XL so far. It's got its quirks, got a couple flaws, like kind of like I was expecting. Um, so, you know, I think my expectations were set properly. It's a fun rig. It's a blast. Um, just know that you're going to have to tweak a couple things to, uh, to make it, you know, quote-unquote bulletproof. But, uh, yeah. So I appreciate y'all watching. Um, remember to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't. And check us out on Instagram and Facebook if you got the time. And I uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Have a good one.